Growing up, I was raised Catholic, and we didn't attend church much at all. So 28 years ago, when I began dating Molly, I started attending First Church. I think the key thing here is that uh, I was all in with First Church, but not with God. I sang in the choir, I was a youth group sponsor, I did Living Fire, and I became a deacon and an elder, and I believed in Jesus but I had not surrendered my life to Jesus. I just attended church, and that's how I felt I spent time with God. Since Molly retired, she spends most of her mornings doing her devotions and God time, while I sit in my recliner, drink coffee, and watch the news. Molly would encourage me, and she wouldn't badger me, but she'd ask me to read my Bible or to do a plan in you version. So in this past spring, I picked up my Bible and started reading. I found out things about Jesus that had never sunk in before. And now I know why he died on the cross for me. So this July, Molly and I were driving to the hospital to visit a friend. In our conversation, Molly asked me if I wanted to know the date and time I surrendered my life to Jesus. And I told her, sure I would. And then she asked me if she could share Jesus with me. And I told her that would be great. So on Saturday, July 22nd at 10 a.m., I surrendered my life to Jesus. Then she asked how many sins Jesus had forgiven, and I told her all of them. And she asked how many did he remember, and I said none of them, and I find that that's so amazing. I love how God is so faithful to us. I had asked Paul this before, maybe not in these words, and he had always told me that he had already done this. But there were many times that I just knew that he hadn't and that he wasn't really seeking. I always prayed for him. And then he started reading his Bible. And I, you know, had asked him, do you want to really know when you did that? And, you know, when he said yes, I mean, I was doing my happy dance in the truck. I mean, big time. I was like, yes! And uh, that was just such a special moment, being beside him when he gave his life to Christ. It's like the best thing ever. It has totally changed our marriage. We're a team on this. We're on a Jesus team here. We just want everybody to know how Jesus has changed our lives. It's just so cool to have him on the same page. I find myself pursuing Jesus more and, and to have him and the Holy Spirit guide me in my new Christian life. I'm so, so glad that Molly shared Jesus with me. It's just so amazing and I look forward to spending more time pursuing Jesus. Even though I've been here for over 28 years, this is the beginning. God's not finished with me yet and I know the best is yet to come.